Hi. Yee. This is Matt Hi. and V from NYC, and we're going to show you guys where there are really great hikes, drivable hikes out of the city. And so, hopefully, if you like hiking, these videos will be very helpful to you. Benefit, they have pillow potties. And so that's kind of like a chill information. Dogs are allowed here. Here's more info. And I'll put up a picture of the map. And as you can see, it's fall time. The leaves are starting to change. Bandit loves the cold weather. Um, benefits about this location. Uh, how far is it from New York City? Like an hour, an hour 15. So it's an hour 15, it's a really nice drive, it's really easy, and so, um, yeah, definitely worth checking out. Okay. Having a good time. This trail is very well maintained, it's really cool. You can see there's rocks on the side so you can't get lost. And Just markers, serious benefit. What's up? Just in the beginning of a rock. That's true, it gets more, uh, <laughs> and it's excited. It gets more diverse as you go in. All right. Beautiful yellow leaves, rock pile, and now the borders have changed. We got wooden borders now. The trail. Another part of the same hike. Single trail now. Hey Matt. Yep. Matt's got a really big leaf. Look at my <laughs> Love when the leaves change. I think next week it'll be even more colorful. So there's a small rock uh, scramble right here. And there's a pretty big one later on. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, it keeps going up and up. And so um, I think it's a trickier hike than our other ones. I'm gonna like hurry the hell up. If you're gonna go hiking, I know this seems obvious, but scan to make sure you're following the markers. And it's almost the first one up. Up we go. So we're going here, where B is, and we're going all the way up. There. Let's do it! Up and up we go. Dan always wants to go fast. Yeah. Okay, made up that arduous scramble. I would say that's the hardest part of the hike. But for all your efforts, you get this overlook. What's up, babe? There's one streak of red leaves. See it? Oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. That strip of red. They must be similar trees. Also, muy importante. Get a good pair of hiking shoes. Gets wet. Leaves are slippery. Rocks are hard to grip on. And so Matt and I have these uh, NECA shoes that are waterproof. And they're very grippy. Matt, do you remember what they're called? Pegasus Vortex, shout out. Real talk, walk in the rain, my toes, super snug and cozy. Since Matt and I live in the city, we try to get out um, 
maybe two or three times a week on the weekends so we can take band it. He's a high energy dog, so we gotta make sure we get him out so he can run. Exercise. Exactly. During the week, uh, Matt and I both take turns running him in the city. Matt probably takes him anywhere between six and 10 miles per day. And I try to take him for easy three in the morning or a rollerblade, but obviously he deserves more than just that. And so we make it a priority every weekend to hike. So hopefully you guys can join us every hike also. Important thing to note about these markers, and so you see how this is yellow. So that's the main path that you would be on, right? And so if it's to the left, that way means it's yellow. And then this is the main one, right? Because above it is to the right, and so it means blue is this way. And so we're gonna follow blue and go to the right. Nice. So that's how you read the markers. <coughs> see, there's yellow, which we are not going. We're staying on blue. Right. Nice job, babe. Going off trail. Let's see what this is. Uh, it doesn't even seem marked. Do you see any markers? Okay. Yeah, no, it looks man-made. Remember, the, uh, they're still working on it. Uh, Matt and I have made mistakes in the past where we went off trail. I don't think we knew, but uh, long story short, Matt ended up with like a yellow jacket wasp sting, and so did Bandit! So we try to stay on trails now. And there it is, the glacial erratic. Matt, stand closer to it. Yeah, it's really huge. Every time we go here, Matt boulders it. And before you say that we don't have a crash mat, it, I, I promise it's not that high. He'll be okay. And if he falls, he falls. Thank God for health insurance. As you can see, it, it looks totally offset because it is. Uh, I believe this is considered a glacial erratic, which means that with snow and time and melting, it traveled here like an ice cube melting on a table. And Matt has been under here, everyone hates that, but I mean, it's been here like a billion years, so. Uh, I think we're in test phase. That was me knocking on wood, so don't worry. Yeah, looking good in there. Bandit loves it, right Ben? It's okay, baby. <laughs> Let's not get hurt. something this beautiful fern and <laughs> cuddle snuggle there we go we're going down a little hill now i was hoping the leaves would be a little bit more colorful at this point but it's still nice it's already mid-october so at this point they should be changing It's still a beautiful hike. way towards orange now. Uh, the reason we've decided on the colors is because uh, Ron, who works here for a long time, gave us advice on what trail to take. And so now we're going to go over to this beautiful overlook and then walk along right here to the stony path towards the water. Gorgeous. Here comes Bandit. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, quite the gazelle. Okay, here we go. 
Rocky Rocky Scramble. tempted to go in but he's a good listener and so we'll uh, find a different location and we have one in mind already so don't worry band you'll get to go swimming just be patient About this is for some reason he likes to splash and shake near us. Get away now! What? Oh my god, why? Yeah, for some reason he just likes to shake near us. He likes to have goals. No, 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 come on. Oh my god. Ugh. That was the island we were at. I mean, we weren't at it, we were looking at it earlier. Really. It's beautiful. And my husband and my bandit. So these are these rocks we always pass. Matt and I always debate, how did these lines get carved in uniformly? Matt's theory? Water. Water. Yeah. But why this direction? Maybe wind? Maybe that's a stupid guess. I don't know. Leave down in the comments what your thoughts are to, to, our, to our first video about hiking. There they are. Close enough to touch. They're like... Why are they like this? Any scientists out there? Help! <laughs> home stretch. Finish with the bridge. Beautiful water. I don't doubt that Ron built this bridge. Actually, he did fix it. Someone stepped through one of the boards. He totally. Yeah, where is it? Yeah, someone stepped the whole foot through that. He was telling us about it. Uh -uh. And he fixed it. On the same bridge, we also saw a pretty large snake uh, during the summertime. So hopefully snake season is over because it's kind of scary.
Um, we're gonna show you how we get this really low car into a horrible garage that has a really big slant. And so, stay tuned. Alright, we're back from our hike. And so is Van. Alright, we're back in the Suta. We are at Period or <laughs> Pyramid Mountain. Here's our review on Pyramid Mountain. And so I think it's backwards, but it says our location was Kenan Law, New Jersey. And uh, the distance from New York is about 26 miles, which is about an hour drive. The duration of our hike was 1.5 miles and it took us about an hour and 30 minutes, uh, but we were like messing around a lot. Scenery, it has the reservoir, uh, glacial erratics, multiple vistas, single trail, rock scrambles, and more. So much fun stuff. Oh yeah. And as for parking, it's free. It's free. a lot and there's street parking And too. our car can make it in. Yes, our very low bearing car can make it in. So and we highly recommend it. So, what do you think about the chart, Matt? What the chart is tell great. Them? I'm gonna say it's right about here at about a six. Yeah, I think it's about a six too. Maybe in between a six and seven. It's a good one. Yeah, it is. And it was only our first video and the first hike that we've shown you. And so, hopefully, we'll fill up the chart. Yeah, we'll do more. Yes. All right. Thank you. See ya. Bye bye.